Hello everyone and welcome to Inside Japan. In this video we're going to talk about 7-Eleven in Japan. Before we get into what 7-Eleven in Japan has to offer, here's a quick history lesson about 7-Eleven. In 1927, four ice plants came together to form the Southland Ice Company. The Southland Ice Company owned 16 ice house storefronts in Dallas, Texas known as Southland Stores. The Southland Stores started to sell eggs, milk, and bread. The following year, a totem from Alaska was placed outside of one of these convenience stores. This attracted customers, and the Southland stores changed their names to totem stores because of this, and also because customers toted away their purchases. In 1945, the Southland Ice Company changed its name to the Southland Corporation. The following year, the totem stores went through a name change to reflect their long hours from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Thus, the stores were named 7-Eleven. In 1972, the business expanded internationally. In November of 1973, Ito Yokado established York 7 Corporation Limited to bring 7-Eleven to Japan, and in May of 1974, the first 7-Eleven in Japan opened in Tokyo. In 1978, York 7 Corporation Limited changed its corporate name to 7-Eleven Japan Corporation Limited. Later in the United States, the Southland Corporation suffered from the stock market crash of the late 1980s and had to file for bankruptcy in 1990. The Ito Yakado Company and 7-Eleven Japan Corporation Limited acquired 70% of the company's stock and saved the company. In 2005, Ito Yakado formed 7 Andai Holdings and made 7-Eleven a subsidiary. Now there are about 20,700 stores in Japan. Because of this history, 7-Eleven is now the biggest Japanese-owned American company. Now on to the convenience stores in Japan. Convenience stores are places where people can buy most of the essential items that they need to live a comfortable life in Japan. Here people can buy cold drinks. These include sports drinks, energy drinks, teas, water, juices, and even alcohol. Speaking of alcohol, whether it is cold or not, 7-Eleven has a wide selection, especially in comparison to other convenience stores. Alcohol usually goes well with snacks, and there are usually a variety of snacks to choose from. Snacks can range from salty to sweet. Hot food is also available for people to eat. So far, what we have mentioned doesn't seem that different from convenience stores in other countries. Where convenience stores differ in Japan is the breads that are available. Just like snacks, there are a wide variety to choose from. Another thing that convenience stores in Japan have to offer are ready-to-eat meals. Customers have the option to warm up select foods at home or in the store. Convenience stores also have frozen food and ice cream. Food and drinks are great, but Japanese convenience stores offer more than that. There are stationary items, minor things for electronics, cleaning products, items for hygiene, and magazines. Also, there is no need to fear if nature calls. The restrooms are usually well maintained. There is also a separate hand washing area. Convenience stores don't only stop there. There is a copy machine that also doubles for a place to buy tickets. But don't worry, there's an English option if needed. Here people can buy tickets for amusement parks, concerts, and more. Usually next to the copier is an ATM. 7-Eleven is special in this area. Since 7-Eleven owns its own bank, a variety of international debit or credit cards can be used to withdraw money. The ATMs also have an English option. Lastly, for the people who live in Japan, convenience stores are a place where people can pay their utility bills. This has been Inside Japan. Thanks for watching.